Life's full of choices. When I was growing up in Southeast Kansas, we only had a couple of choices of places to eat after church on Sunday night. You know, places you could go and sit down at a table in a restaurant. Taco Hut or Pizza Hut, those were the choices. Our DQ, our Dairy Queen, only served ice cream. And if you wanted ice cream, you know, you only got it when it was seasonal in the warm months. And they only had three choices of ice cream, vanilla, chocolate, or swirl. Today, we live in a Baskin Robbins society where people walk into an ice cream store, you know, and can't decide because there's so many choices. Kind of like the difference between the menu at In-N-Out and the menu at Carl's. Too many choices. When I was a kid, there were only three channels on television, ABC, NBC, or CBS. Today, it's amazing how many channels there are, and they just keep adding. There are over a hundred channels here in the Los Angeles area, over the air, without satellite or cable. Let's not get started on streaming services. Also, when I was a kid, we had a TGNY store. We had a JC Penny and a Sears catalog store. So that's where you get a catalog in the mail and you pick out what you wanted. And then you went down and you ordered it and you went down to the store a few weeks later and you picked it up. Today, of course, we have Amazon that delivers almost anything to your door, sometimes as quick as the next day. When I was a kid, we had a phone attached to the wall and you only had one long distance carrier and it was just called long distance and it was expensive. And today there's lots of choices and lots of options. There were no computers when I was a kid, no. Now we have these portable electronic devices that are a computer, a calendar, a clock, a stopwatch, alarm clock, compass, level, camera, flashlight, video recorder, book, music and video player. It's incredible. It even has a wallet, which brings even more choices because these devices open up to millions of apps to choose from. Life's full of important choices. You're going to choose where you live. You're going to choose who you're going to marry and to whom you'll be married to. You'll choose some kind of career, and those choices involve commitments. Maybe you heard the story about a man who was performing a marriage ceremony, a preacher. The bride and groom were standing there, and the preacher said to the groom, Do you promise to take her for better and for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health? And the groom thought there for a moment and said, Yes, no, yes, no, no, yes. That's not commitment. Choices involve commitment. The biggest choices in life are the ones you better pay attention to. A while back, there was a time management consultant speaking to a group of CEOs about managing their time. And to illustrate his point, he had a jar. And he placed some large rocks in the jar until he couldn't get another large rock in there. And then he turned to the CEOs and asked, is the jar full? And they answered, yes. And the consultant said, not quite. Then he poured pea gravel in until it was full to the top. He asked, now is the jar full? And they said, yes. And he said, not quite. Then he took a very fine sand and poured it into the jar. It was amazing how much sand he could get in there. He filled the sand right up to the top and said, now is the jar full? By now, everyone had figured out where he was going, so nobody said yes, and he said, you're right. Then he took water and poured it into the jar. And it was amazing how much water went in there. And then he asked, what's the lesson? What's the lesson we're learning about time management? And a number of the CEOs immediately said, well, this teaches us that no matter how busy you are, no matter how full you think your schedule is, there's always room for something else. And that consultant said, absolutely wrong. You've missed the whole point. The point of the lesson is this, Unless you put the big rocks in first, you can never fit them in. In your life and my life, there are some big choices. There are some big rocks 
we better put into our lives and pay attention to because if we don't pay attention to these big decisions, we're never going to have room for them again. And I suppose the greatest choice you'll ever make in your life is what are you going to do with Jesus Christ? What are you going to do about your relationship to God? Now, Romans 6.23 is one of the most evangelistic verses in all the Bible because it tells a person simply how to be saved, how to become a Christian, how to go from here to heaven, how to go from a miserable life to an abundant life. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death. Has anybody ever read that and wondered why it's not, it's not grammatically correct? Why is it not grammatically correct? It should read, the wages of sin are death, right? But no, this is correct. And I'll show you why it's correct later in the series. Thank you, Lord, for what you're going to teach us. We have big decisions in our life. And the biggest decision is what we're going to do with you. And I pray that we would have a clear understanding of what's involved in that decision, how it affects us, and what it means to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Lift up our eyes.